Hey friends! In this video, I'm going to give you my top five money mindset books to transform your relationship with your money and wealth. Learn to attract more money, experience abundance, and expand your impact with the money that you have and create. Before we dive in, hit that subscribe button so that you catch the new tool, tip, or mindset shift that I offer every Tuesday here on this channel. And if you want to make sure you don't miss a video, please hit that notification bell. Also, just as a heads up, this is just five of my top overall 10 book recommendations that I am sharing to transform your financial landscape. In this video, we're going to talk about money mindset, but over on my blog, which I have linked below, I shared five of my personal finance books. So those are more the tips and strategies to really look at the numbers and make systems for you and your goals. But this video will focus on the mindsets to create that. For those of you who are new here, my name is Ellen and this is my beautiful dog, Sadie. I am a professional life coach to musicians and creative business owners from all over the world, as well as a professional opera singer myself. This video has been highly requested from not only my clients, but you guys as well. So I'm excited to dive in and share these amazing books as resources to you in having an unstoppable abundance mindset with your money. So let's dive in. Now these books are in no particular order, but I have to list Think and Grow Rich first. This is one of the first books that I read that really left a profound impact on me and how I relate to money. Its basic principles operate around the law of attraction, but it's based in a context and framework that is very logical and practical. So if you're someone who tends to stay away from the woo-woo, this book would be great for you since it combines both the thought patterns and the energy that you're creating around money with practical action. It's also one of the oldest books I have on my list today. So it's one of those classic bestseller money mindset books that everyone should read at least once in their lifetime. Also as a heads up, I've included all of the Amazon links below to each of these books. So just scroll down and you'll find the link. This book addresses anything from aligning your money and finances with your core values to how you can bust up your limiting beliefs around scarcity and how money can be the currency of change and impact in your life and in the world. It's an incredibly mind opening and heart opening kind of book. If you find yourself related to money like it's a source of evil or necessary evil in your life, definitely pick this one up. Book number three that I would love everyone on this planet to read is You Are a Badass at Making Money. Please do comment below and let me know if you've read the original book to this by Jen Sincero, just called You Are a Badass. She recently came out with a new book called You're a Badass at Making Money because there was such a high demand for her to apply her principles that she wrote in that first book to how to make more money. Jen Sincero is a super approachable, witty, and kind of sarcastic writer. Jen Sincero masterfully walks the line between a little bit woo-woo and very down to earth. She uses humor to diffuse some of the stuff that may scare some of you who really don't like the woo-woo, but she brings us all into opening up our minds to how we can manifest more money in our lives while putting in the work and the structures necessary. So many people just put their thinking about money in boxes and her whole intention is to break up those boxes so that you can create whatever you want with your money. I highly recommend it. And again, link is below. Next up is a recent fave called Worthy. Nine out of 10 times, if you have a complicated relationship with your money, you probably also have a complicated relationship with your self-worth and the currency exchange between what you give to the world and what you receive. Worthy is a beautiful in-depth look at the relationship of your self-worth with your relationship with money. And again, much like Soul of Money is a very heart-based look at money and your relationship with it. So if that resonates with you, definitely pick it up. It's fantastic. And finally, book number five is called The Go-Giver. In my work with lots of kinds of clients, I've noticed that a lot of people have an, an interesting relationship with receiving especially as a creative in the world. Artists tend to be really born givers and don't really build that strong muscle of being able to receive powerfully. The Go-Giver is an amazing book that reframes how you can actually use money as an opportunity to practice receiving like it's an act of service. I can't do the book justice with this simple explanation, but if you're a giver and you struggle with receiving the kind of compensation worthy of you and your craft, do consider picking up The Go-Giver. 
And surprise, I'm gonna throw in a bonus one that I didn't actually rank in my top five because I haven't read it yet, but I've gotten tons of recommendations to pick up The Seven Spiritual Laws of Success by Deepak Chopra. Some of you may be familiar with his work. He's world famous for his principles and philosophies around law of attraction and spiritual work. So I'll be picking that up soon and I'd be happy to let you know what I think of it, but I'll go ahead and include the link below just in case you wanna check it out. And as I mentioned at the top of the video, please do check out the blog post that I included in the description box that goes over personal finance books, which are very different than the money mindset books that we just talked about. So if you're looking for the tangible structures and strategies to maximizing your money and budget, check that out for another set of resources. And if you just can't help yourself and want all of the resources you possibly can have, in the description box below I've also included a free download for you of my eight page ebook on personal finances called Master Your Money Management. I include three of my personal budgets that I've used at different incomes along the way and the mindset shifts that I needed to put in place in order to reach my goals and get to the next level. I use real numbers, no bullshit. Just click the link below and you'll get it in your inbox. And that's it for today, folks. Let me know if you found these resources helpful and if you like these kind of videos. I personally devour these kinds of books on personal development and growth. I'd be happy to make this a regular series where I offer you lists of books that fit certain topics or even specific book reviews where I go in depth about what value is out there in really impactful books. So just let me know. Give this video a like so I know this is something you're into. And I'll see you here next Tuesday. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.